Just a little bit excited now, gang. I'll be totally honest with you. Our guest this morning is a quarter of one of the most iconic pop bands of all time. She is bringing us new music. It is a true thrill to welcome a real hero to the show this morning. Uh, good morning, Agneta uh, Fultzog. How are you, darling? Good morning, Zoe. I'm fine, thank you. And it's nice to be with you. <laughs> it's so wonderful to have you on the show. How have you been keeping and how has your summer been? How is summer in Sweden? Thank you. It has been very fine. Uh, June was uh, fantastic with uh, uh, a lot of sunshine and uh, not so much rain, but lovely, really lovely. So I, I, I took a bath. <laughs> yeah, several times. Oh, that, it's wonderful. Yeah, June was really good here. It was very similar and the, the rest of the summer has been interesting. But um, it's what we're used to. Um, it's wonderful to have you on the show with such great news as well. What can you tell us about the new album, a reimagined version of your 2013 album, A+. Yeah, that's right. It, it came as an uh, ID suddenly uh, i talked with jorgen who is with me here jorgen elofsson and hello, uh, <laughs> hello jorgen. welcome hello to the there. breakfast show <laughs> well, you, thank you. you will help me with my english if i if i drop i don't it. think you need any help <laughs> <laughs> well the idea came up and uh, we had a, a little conversation about it and uh, we said that maybe we should do something else about this album to make it, it, it was 10 years ago I did it. And uh, we're gonna make an, a new remix of it and uh, make it uh, sound totally new, new sound, but the same songs. And uh, at the same time, he had been writing uh, a new song and that's the one that is the, the single now. For me, it felt like, uh, well, shall I do <laughs> another one? Uh, and I did it. Uh, we didn't know about the voice, as usual, if it if it was there, but but it was. It's amazing to hear you say, you know, you you worry about your voice and whether it's still going to be there. And having listened, you know, had a little peak early listen, and you mm. sound as young as ever. You know, <laughs> it's it's such a gift, your voice. Um, Thank you very much. And I, I guess you worry about it if, you, if you're not singing for a while and you're not doing that, you know. Of course, it's the same with uh, talking English, actually, because uh, I talk Swedish all the time at home. And uh, nowadays it's not so common that I speak English. So I feel a little uh, rusty right now. You sound perfect to us, I have to say. I mean, if you asked us to speak any Swedish, can you even imagine what would happen? Um, <laughs> how is it for you, Anjeta, when you hear your music on the radio? Do you still have a little moment of, oh gosh, that's me, that's us, that's something special? Yeah, that's always nice. It's always nice, but um, I love music. Music is in my heart and in my brain all the time. <laughs> I live and I sleep with, with music, you can say. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What might you listen to? What sort of thing? Well, I, I listen to everything, I would say. Uh, but I have, uh, I, I must tell you one funny thing. It's that I came into this... Um, old uh, singer from England, what's it? PJ Proby. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can you remember? Yeah, so absolutely. Brilliant. Right now I listen a lot to him and uh, all, all the songs from 60s and 70s. That was my childhood. I listened a lot to uh, all these singers like uh, Sandy Shaw, Dusty Springfield, I really love them and they're, they're still in my heart. Amazing ladies, mm. uh, 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 incredible performers, all the ladies that you, you've mentioned there. So tell us a bit about the single that we're about to play. This is a brand new song. Uh, no one's mm -hmm. heard it before. It's called Where Do We Go From Here? What was the sentiment behind the lyrics in the song and the feeling in this song? Mm. It was a good feeling, but... Uh, Maybe you should ask Jürgen what, <laughs> <laughs> what this is all about. Cue Jürgen. Uh, what, what can you tell us, darling? 
it was actually not us writing it. It was, was basically a gift. We felt it just sort of came through us and I, I, it kept going on in my mind all the time. And as we worked on, you know, uh, reworking, reimagining your music, uh, Agneta's mm. music, right? Uh, this song was constantly there mm. uh, as well. It's like a little companion saying, I want to be part of this too. You know, it's like, mm. so I sort of uh, got a bit brave and I asked you, Mm. I gave you a song and you said, yeah, I'll do it. I love the song. Yeah, so I, I so that's the, really the, the story. Of, of course, you said, oh, I'm not sure I can sing it, but I always say, yes, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you I can always sing say anything. That. You can sing the but poem. But I book. heard the demo first and uh, it was a girl singing it yeah. in the demo. And I thought I would never do it oh, <laughs> like, like she did. And then I said, okay, I try it. And uh, it came out very, very well. And now we're very proud Fantastic. of it. Fantastic. Okay, we'll play it now on Radio 2. Okay. It is Agnetta uh, with Where Do We Go From Here? We are already singing all the words. It's in our hearts. You can see why Jürgen was saying that he <laughs> had that song and it becomes a gift. Um, that was a world exclusive, Agnetta. Um, uh, beautiful. How does it feel to hear it on the radio for you? It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you never get tired of it. Uh, to hear uh, yourself on the radio <laughs> that that's really that's really something it's always uh, a tensed feeling you can say uh, about what are the people going to think about this but as long as you have your heart in it and you have uh, done the best you can uh, because i'm not so young anymore and um, i'm i'm very <laughs> great <laughs> grateful that I have that I still have my voice and uh, a good composer beside me yeah thank you mm. oh <laughs> I know you're an you're a you're an amazing dynamic duo the two of you together you really <laughs> thank really you are. Oh, uh, we all need a Jürgen I think in our lives <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> it's so fabulous I, I have to say we've been really blessed on the breakfast show um, that Annie Fried was on the show uh, I got to talk to Benny and Bjorn so it really was the dream Agneta to have you on the show ABBA have been quite a phenomenon uh, the band feels really very much like a force uh, of its own at the moment with ABBA Voyage which mm. people you know are still I know people who've seen it six or seven times as well and people still finding it and loving it mm. and Mamma Mia of course the musical and the films um, when you announced you know the new records that you did a couple of years ago it was a top news story on every channel pretty much around the world um, how, how did that feel for you all? Uh, it feels very good, and uh, this with uh, Voyage, it's uh, it's an amazing show. It's doing so well, and uh, we don't even know how, how they did it, even if we worked <laughs> with it a lot. It's so clever. It's so uh, yes, clever. It, is. it, it is. really is. Um, mm. Jürgen, have you seen it? Have you seen the show? Uh, no, actually no. I haven't. I've been too busy working here with uh, Agnetta's music. So, <laughs> but I, but I, I'm definitely going to get up there and, and uh, check it out. <laughs> Jürgen, when you come I hear up. from yes. everybody, it's crazy good. When you I know come I'm over, cut, give us a ring, we'll all come with you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. I would love to come I'll over <laughs> often if it was not so oh, far away. <laughs> I know, it's so, so yeah. good. Um, mm -hmm. We had Annie Fried on the, on the show uh, back last year and she was talking about how special it is when you're together. It's always magical to sing together with Agnetha because we have something special, as you know, not only voice-wise, but also as friends. And it's like meeting up with your sister, you know, and once we close the door behind us in the studio, we, we felt at home, both of us. Oh, my dear friend. <laughs> Yeah, we have been going through a lot in, in our lives and uh, the time with ABBA was, was um, you know, it was 10, 12 years that we uh, traveled together, we did everything together and uh, I would like, like to take the opportunity to send my greetings to the other three and I want to thank all wonderful fans who has been with us during all years and for all fantastic people who has told us which impact our music has had in their lives, both in sorrow and happiness, it really warms my heart. Oh, 
you know, you're so right. Those songs have been with us through all the adventures in our lives. Mm -hmm. Like you say, the, the highs and the lows. Next year, it's 50 years since Eurovision, since you guys won. It's going to be in Sweden. I mean, it's written in the stars. If you're not there, then, uh, well, you know, what can we do? <laughs> uh, any plans to do anything, do you think? You never know anything about ABBA and when we... <laughs> uh, so, um, well, I, I, I don't say anything about that, so... Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. I'd rather be quiet. Yes, good. <laughs> I know. I, that's beautifully handled there. Okay, mm. fingers crossed for all of us. You wrote your first song when you were six years old. What do you think that little girl would think if she could see the success, the influence that you would go on to have and in the incredible career? Mm. I had no idea. At that time, I just uh, felt that I had so much music in me. And uh, it devel developed, and when I was uh, seven, no, 15, I started, you know, with this dance group and toured around Sweden. So I have been touring a lot before we started ABBA. Music has been my life. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And what do your grandchildren think of your incredible career? Or are they a bit like... The kids in our family, where that, it's sometimes they're like, yeah, 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 that's quite impressive, and then they get, they get on with their own lives. <laughs> I, I think they are really now starting to understand. Some of them were with us in, uh, in the opening night in London, and uh, they were crying, oh. really. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Grandma. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so they had no idea, I think, what, what I have been doing. It must be mind-blowing for them to be able to. Yes. And thank goodness there's all the old footage that we can revisit as well. It's mm. so good. And Yetha, thank you so much for the music. Thank you for talking to us. So mm. much love from all your fans over here. Thank you. And I would like to send it back. And thank you for having us with you. Thank you so much. And Jürgen, you're an absolute superstar. Let well, us know when you. you come over for the show. <laughs> thank you so much. I'll take, take my care. wife. <laughs> <laughs> Many thanks.